Hi, I'm Mitch Reed, and today my vlog is on being a Cajun fiddler and tips for you future Cajun fiddlers. Um, just tips on um, how to be a fiddler who tunes their fiddle down, but also how to fit in uh, with other styles of music. Like if you go to a jam and maybe they're playing old-timey music or bluegrass or country music. Um, and really the ultimate secret lies in um, owning two fiddles. So I thought I would share this with y'all today because I get a lot of um, questions about this and it, it's usually people who aren't from Louisiana um, that ask me this question, but you know, what do you do? How do you tune up and down? What if you play other styles of fiddle? You know, is it good for your strings? All this stuff. I mean, does it mess up your strings? Um, yes, it does. <laughs> so <clears throat> the key is owning a double fiddle case. And let's see, I'm going to show y'all what mine looks like actually. So this is a double fiddle case right here. Let's see if you can see it. And it looks like this. And it's not that bigger than a regular fiddle case, but I can put two fiddles in here. And what's cool about that is that when I go somewhere to jam, um, like living up here in Maine, um, most fiddlers all tune standard. Nobody tunes down. So, but I do play Cajun music and I do play with some Cajun musicians that live up here like... Uh, Jim Joseph and Pam Weeks and Rob Sylvain Jr., Joe's, uh, Jr. Stevens. And uh, uh, so anyway, uh, they have C accordions. So I do have my tuned down fiddle, but also have my other fiddle in case we play some Irish tunes or French Canadian tunes or New England tunes. So the thing is to have one fiddle tuned down and one fiddle tuned standard. Um, so usually I think most of the time when I talk to people about this, they'll say, well, I can't afford to get another fiddle, you know? So a lot of times, very common, you'll have people who maybe spent a thousand dollars on a good fiddle, a decent fiddle, not that uncommon. And they feel like, well, man, to buy another fiddle, that's another thousand. And no, you don't have to do that. So I'll, that's why I wanted to share this today. So most Cajun fiddlers, uh, you know, the, and especially the old guys, the old traditional guys, they didn't own really expensive fiddles. So we're not talking like violins that you would find in, in a symphony or anything like that. Um, a lot of them ordered their fiddles on, uh, in the farmer's almanac. So like Wade Fruge, for instance, who I talk about a lot, great old time Cajun fiddler. Um, he paid, I think, $5 for his fiddle, you know, back in the 30s or whatever. But through the farmer's almanac, he ordered this fiddle. And so, it, you know, most of those fiddles were factory made fiddles. Um, they weren't, you know, all hand carved and stuff, I'm sure. So I always say get you either get you two decent fiddles, you know, maybe in the price range of like $500 to $600 or get you a really nice one and then get you one for like three or $400. I actually did this for many years. I played a fiddle that was not that great. It was a Romanian fiddle, but I paid $300 for it and actually you can still get this fiddle. And I brought it to a luthier and I had them, you know, kind of tweak it a little bit, upgrade it. Um, they put new strings on it, better strings, better sound post, did some adjustments, better bridge, things like that. And right away it went from a $300 fiddle to probably $500 fiddle. And, um, so I usually tell people if you own if you own a fiddle and you're trying to figure out and you have one fiddle and you're trying to figure out should it be your Cajun fiddle or should it be your standard fiddle? Um, first thing to do is tune it down, see how it sounds. If it sounds really sweet and good, awesome. It's probably going to work. If you tune it back up, if you like the way it sounded, if you know, figure out which one you like better. If it, if it sounds better tuned up, leave it tuned up. If it sounds better tuned down, make that your Cajun fiddle. Um, either one, you know, so to own a good standard fiddle, it doesn't have to be expensive either. You can get a $300, $400 fiddle, tune it standard, put some good strings on it, have it fixed up right. These are, this is the, this is what I do. So, I mean, I, I, I'm poor, I'm a musician. I don't make a lot of money. So most of my good instruments I have, they're actually given to me by people, people that just appreciated what I did and said, look, you know, this instrument's just going to stay in a closet, so I want to give it to you. So, 
So uh, uh, thanks going out to Father Bro for a fiddle that he gave me. And uh, um, so I, I do have two decent fiddles. Both of my fiddles, I have a $5,000 fiddle and I have a $1,200 fiddle. And um, I love them. And I don't, as far as right now, I, don't, I would never need to own another fiddle in my life. I love both of those fiddles. And I tune one, the $5,000 one I, I leave standard because the tone is amazing. It's just an amazing fiddle. And then uh, the one I got, it's from a luthier in Minnesota, I tuned down, so that's my Cajun one, that's this one here. Um, put them both in my double fiddle case and everywhere I go, I have my two fiddles. Um, and I have a couple of bows. I always recommend get two or three bows if you can because um, it's just good to have them, but also bows are different. So I have a light bow, a heavy bow, middle, medium bow. <clears throat> and sometimes when I want to play something really soft and gentle, I'll play my light bow. And if I'm playing with an accordion, I really want to dig in and be loud, I'll play with my heavy bow. Um, so that's kind of my setup right there. It's just two fiddles, one tuned up, one tuned down. Really works well, too, because when I, when I go to different jam sessions, I can... I have this whole range of keys that I can play in. And the thing is, I'm always able to get the open string drones. So that's the whole purpose about tuning up and down, is that you can get an open C string or an open F, you know, whatever. So if I go to a jam, they're playing country tunes in the key of C, I grab my Cajun fiddle, even though it's not Cajun music, you know, it's, it makes it easier. Um, most of the stuff up here in New England is an A and D and G. So I usually play my standard fiddle for stuff like that. But folk tunes, Cajun tunes, um, early country tunes, a lot of that stuff I play with my tuned down fiddle. So, yeah, if you live somewhere out of Louisiana, um, you, may, you may have never heard about this concept of getting a double fiddle case. But it's really popular in Louisiana. I mean, if you go to a music store or a violin shop in Louisiana, they'll totally recommend it. Oh, get a double fiddle case, you know. So, um... Yeah, and you can order them online, and they're super easy to find. So they don't cost a lot. I think I paid 80 bucks for mine or something like that. So that's what I recommend. But I just wanted to do a vlog about that just to, um, yeah, just to share that, you know, what I do in my situation, share that with you, pass that on to you. So it is important to have two fiddles, I think, and it's it's really hard to have one fiddle and tune it up and down and up and down because you're going to wear out your strings, you'll end up breaking a string, it's just not good for your fiddle, so it doesn't cost that much more, get you a second fiddle, either tune it standard or tune it Cajun, and good luck with that, I hope I covered all the uh, details of what uh, some of y'all have been asking me in, in the questions and stuff like that. And I appreciate so much y'all uh, subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. Check out my uh, website where I break down tons of Cajun tunes and Creole tunes and talk about history and origins of the tunes. And But again, thanks so much for supporting this and good luck and stay inspired and keep on fiddling. Thank you.